makes ginger cakes weigh as much as four Victoria sponges. So there's our six ginger cake and they weigh as much as four sponges. Then only one of these statements is true. Which one? Let's start us off. The first one, that three ginger cakes equal the same as two Victoria sponges. Yes, it does, because it's half, isn't it? You half each side. It's good old fashioned ratios, really. So the answer is A. Do you want me to go over the others just to explain why they're wrong? You might as well ask me here, won't we? Five. Oh, for goodness sake, how did that happen? It, sometimes it has. Mm, do you think it's complaining? Do you think just all said and done, it's just complaining? I think it is, isn't it? Um, so we're going to shrink it back down a bit. Oh, I do quite enjoy doing that, it's okey cokeying. Five ginger cakes weighs as much as two Victoria sponges. So five to two, no, that's halved. That isn't halved, is it? So it's not that. Let's try four ginger cakes. So four ginger cakes um, equals the same as two. If you halve that side, you'd have to halve that side. So it's not that. Seven sponges, so that's seven on this side, notice, uh, weighs the same as five Victoria sponges. No, that's got smaller, that's got bigger, so that's never right. And then the last one, four ginger cakes, that's this side, weighs the same as four Victoria sponges. No, that's not the same, is it? Okay. <laughs>